Third District Congresswoman Laura Trahan made a stop at Aspit to visit with students and tour a few of the shops here in Marlboro, Massachusetts. Traveling all the way from the nation's capital, newly elected Congresswoman Laurie Trahan spent time in Marlboro on Monday morning, meeting with Mayor Arthur Vigen. I had the opportunity this morning to have our first sit down. We're excited to have her get out of Washington, get together with all those freshman legislators that came in and try to get some discussion going for a change. Trahan then head to Aspen Valley Regional Tech, visiting the advanced manufacturing, metal fabrication, and health technology shops. A big part of um, what I think we need to invest in is programs like the ones you see here at Acibit. Um, you know, technical training and vocational programs, apprenticeships, community college programs. I mean, this uh, we have to make these practical paths of education that get young people into good paying jobs. Now that the government is back up and running following a month-long shutdown. I think everyone's expecting this Congress to do a lot of work on health care and education and uh, infrastructure and things like that. So happy to happy that we're, you know, past this impasse so that we can get to work on real things. Trahan says she is excited to get moving on important matters, including educational funding in Massachusetts, an issue she has pushed since her campaign in 2018. I'm going to use that committee to really shine a spotlight on, you know, what we can do to re-engineer our education system for the, the jobs that we attract and retain, not just in this country, but in the 3rd Congressional District. Trahan tells us she was recently appointed to the Education Labor Committee and will be heading back to Washington this week. For WMCT News, I'm Talia Clark.